which is a very cool double uh, path chorus. Um, I'll just leave it at the default setting for now. Um, and again, if you wish to have some control, you can uh, put in the EQ, some control for the input channel. Um, and this one is also 100% wet. Now you can you can get the uh, you get the basic idea of how you can set up um, set up your tracks or your template. This is basically um, this is basically what my um, what my track uh, template looks like. Um, as you can see, I've got everything going into the non vox mix, um, and that's sending it to to the uh, vocal writer again, as I've shown you. Um, the other buses, the other effects channels, I haven't routed anything into them yet. Um, but, you know, I have them available to, to set up my routing should I need to. So that's basically the template. There's one more thing that I have in my default template, and that's the following. I've set up a bit of a marker track um, to help me work on arrangements. Because, um, you know, once you set up a little little idea, a little beginning, um, which most of the time for me happens in the first 17 bars. Um, you know, it can be a bit intimidating to have all that empty space on the right side. Um, that's why I set up a market track to help me, you know, um, find my starting points and my end points and give me an idea, give me an idea of where I want the breaks to be. Um, so I have something to work towards. Now, I usually have my start marker at 25 and everything before that is basically just my sketch path or sketch pad, um, which means that I have this section right here to work out ideas, program and drum loops and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and this will be my, my track pool basically um, and I will start my actual song here on 25 um, it will give me some time give me f basically four bars um, or it will give me um, this space to build up an introduction or an intro and I will have my first break right here Let's break one Mm, now, usually that's a pretty short break, and that will run into my body one, and that will give me a lot of time to build up and work on my track, and will result into the second break. Now, as you can see, um, I'm kind of running out of kind of running out of space right here. Um, and I'm actually not able to drag this much further. So what I'm going to do now is to call on the options, go to song setup. And just make sure that my end marker is at, for example, 240. Apply. Okay. So you see I have a little more room right now. I put the end marker on 233. Um, what else do I have? All right. One more. And that's body number two. So what I have now is basically my whole timeline laid out. Um, I've got an intro, which results into a break, which results into a body, and yet another break, a bit longer this time, and giving me time to build up and go down again to the end. And as I said, this is just to give me a basic idea of what I'm working on, to give me a basic um, structure so I can work, uh, so I can work to a, a full arrangement. Now this this changes 
depending on the tracks I'm working on or whatever. But, you know, just as a starting point, this will be a, this will be a good thing. Um, right. So that's basically it. This is what my default template looks like. Um, this is what I usually start from. And um, there you have it. Now, this is actually still just a song, which I just saved. Um, what I have to do now is save as a new template and give it a name. Template tutorial. Save it. And there you have it. Now, if I close this song up again, create a new song. There it is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> there it is. Template Motoko. It's a Motoko template tutorial. And once I start a new song, you can see all the plugins being loaded. The channels are being loaded. The tracks are being loaded. And once the loading is finished, you will have the track with the template. So I hope you get something out of this tutorial. Hope it helps you um, streamline your workflow or improve the way you work. And um, well, see you in a next tutorial. Cheers.